हरि ओम वेलकम टू दि सेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ आवर सीरीज हरि ओम स्वामी जी I, you know, we we have been Ayo. talking about success, and um, a thought came to me, which is very, very, um, which comes to us very often. Uh, let's take a simple example. I I buy a car, a new car, and bring it home. My neighbor comes and looks at it and say, "Oh, wow! Congratulations! Fantastic!" Now, this neighbor of mine has a bigger car than mine. okay and when he congratulates i don't tell him thank you i tell him you know i i wanted to buy that bigger car but uh, because of various issues i had to settle down with this now you just you just see that i was measuring my success till that point to bring that car in the moment i brought the car in and i compared it with my Uh, neighbor's car there is a discontent already which is crept in how how do i how do i look at it what should be the way i measure that con- uh, you know the success and remain contented uh, you know, it's a very very <laughs> touchy thing and i think this we all face every one of us uh, who are in the rat race are facing it Uh, can you throw some light to me on this the moment we hear the word contentment we will not be able to reach that stage so naturally we have to pass after we pass through so many uh, ups and downs in our life one day we start thinking about this contentment not bereft of our experience but then it becomes a, a tall talk but when we have gone through the life and then we start hearing this then we come to know that right from our stepping into the life as an individual we have been fixing up targets if the target is achieved i become full contented and i struggle honestly i put in all efforts and i hit the target as soon as the target is gained for a few moments there is a thrill i am preparing for the exam i want to have 90 plus with that i feel i will become full i put in my efforts finally i sit for the exam and the result is out i rush for the mark list or the body roll the result immediately i find my name there is a thrill inexplicable fullness is there but correct the shortest possible time suppose i come and somebody comes and asks you are full now i am full but i must get a i must get a seat you know in the in the, in the next college again you struggle for it you will hit the target i we come and again are you now all right you are full you are happy i am happy but i must get a placement you know. like that when i start viewing my whole life it has been from a, a, a profession from a sense of incompleteness to completeness again i lose that completeness then the again the sense of incompleteness starts i refix the target again i struggle so this goes on so what is happening in me as you rightly uh, as we discussed previously it is because of the comparison it is not because of anything that i lack i am full but i feel the insufficiency only when i compare with others so if this spiritual value touches and kindles in me that my contentment is not dependent upon anything outside this will go on and it will not come easily just because somebody says somebody hears we will not get it it is a process it is a process where we come to know the uh, the anything outside any target outside cannot give me this that there is one risk involved in this attempt 
people may rush to the uh, conclusion that you become unproductive, uncreative, you know, dull. No, no. Yes, complacent. You, you can, it ah. can make you complacent. <laughs> ah, yeah, it is not, it is not. One, one example comes to my mind is, there was in Tamil Nadu, a great person called uh, Papanasham Anadana Shivan. Many centuries, many decades back. His vocation or what you call involvement is, he will go to, on those days, you know, India was uh, reeling under severest poverty. So he will go to the village, he will meet uh, moneyed people, he will go to the traders and tell them, tomorrow or day after, I would like to have a, a feast for everybody. So kindly come forward with your contribution. He will not accept any money. And uh, because of his stature, people who have not heard about him or who are not, who, the moment you see him, immediately they feel like doing it. And there is a big feast in the uh, village. He will cook. They, he will organize the vessels, he will organize the firewood, he will organize the brick, water, everything, with the help of the villagers. And uh, two or three items will be there. Then he will see that all are sitting properly and it is served properly. And as soon as the meal is over, he will say, clean it everything. He will not take food from there. He goes to the next village, takes his bhiksha, he cooks, he organizes everything he does. The joy in him, the contentment in him is to see everybody is fed, not for him. So, and he, people, then people come, compel him. You have cooked, you should eat. He said, I will eat from himself. But, but that, that happens, Swami, yes. in the house also, no? That happens yes. in the house. That happens in any house also. The mother cooks or the lady of the house cooks. Yes. They want to feed others. They are not in that mood. Yes, yes. yes correct, correct. So there is content. What is contentment? We are trying to understand now. It is not grabbing something for us. It is not something that is that is going to give us the individual selfish satisfaction. But it is a satisfaction that comes out by it's inexplicable. And you can roughly approximately say it is because of the expansiveness which we which is innate in our in our in our uh, system. The more I, because all these things have come into me, that is why I am earth, air, water, space. All these things are available for everybody, you know. And I am made of that. Vegetables, it will not, it does not specify any beneficiary. Nothing, no, no, no factor has benefited the beneficiary, but I am a part and parcel of the whole thing. So my innate feeling is expansiveness. Contentment is something which we experience that inner fullness. Initially, we searched for contentment outside and we started doing this and that and this and that and this and that. And finally, when we sit and look back, what is happening to me? I have got everything. I will tell you one, I think the other day we shared one experience, but you can connect up that experience again. When we went to Gujarat, Ahmedabad, the doctor came, you remember? He was an ENT specialist, he was a retired person. And after retirement, he suddenly asked, what is happening to me? Then suddenly, he has got a lot of money also. He was explaining to me while he was driving the car and taking me to his. Then I decided something should be done. That the all these things have not given me the joy, the contentment. 50, 30, 30 years of service, love from people, money, everything is there. But still, something is making me to feel not complete, not complete, not complete. That prompted me, hey, you have got everything from the society only. And unless you give back, how will you get it? It is there already. You have got it. It has is, it is enshrouded, it has covered your contentment. Give back. And he set up a school for the mental uh, defender. 
And my wife was explaining to me when he took me, I could see the body language, how happy he is. So the contentment is something which is innate, innate, innate. It is not a thing that is related to outside. Papa used to say, when he was talking about bliss, he beautifully named it, kindly think about it. Objectless happiness. Our happiness today is object driven. Is related to an object, a person, or a situation. Correct. Here, or an, or is, an achievement. Or it an is achievement. something which is innate, which is disconnected with objects, persons, and situations. So, in other words, uh, the the me me should not come there. The me is not there. That is the one. In a way. And uh, one more, we remember one more uh, exposition of Swami Chidanji Maharaj. You are unique. So don't compare and contrast. Somebody, somebody is an expert in medical line. Somebody is an expert in engineering line. Each one has been designed by the great designer. Correct. And you are now with your puny intellect. Trying to take something which is not your innate nature. <laughs> that will lead to discontentment. You are trying to copy somebody. Ah, copy. Exactly. It can't. It will not. However much we try, we cannot. Each one is unique. And therefore, each one's expression or interpretation of contentment also has to be unique. Anywhere, anywhere, when we try to go through the uh, uh, our life experience, it becomes clear. Otherwise, it becomes academic. Correct. The other day, we were sharing about our experience in the company when the company, when the manager asked us to have the five act hand over a month, you know. So, if we all know it, we have no self interest, he has no self interest. Probably that was necessary for us to bring out the efficiency in us, the potentiality in us, the sincerity in us, the commitment in us. For all that, he has to give, apply some method, you know. And it is not, not, not benefiting him or the company only. Even after the lapse of 60 years, we are remembering and enjoying it, you know. So contentment is something which is, which is directly related to the spiritual core of our being. Innate. So whenever I feel uh, not comfortable with anything, I try to ponder over this. So this word, you know, is a beautiful uh, subject you have brought out because that will connect us to this. Uh, at the moment, this uh, in the mad rush of consumerism, we hardly take notice of this. I go to a mall with my family. My life is not need-based life. It is desire based. <laughs> no I longer. Look, I look at something, then I buy it. Or somebody <laughs> says, Why don't you buy this? It will be useful for you. It has become luxury based. <laughs> and after two or three days, I lose the charm. Immediately when I buy, the moment you buy a scooter or a car, every now and then you will look at it and keep it clean, everything. After one month, two months, three months, it has become old for you. When you see somebody's car, I should buy that. You know? Then I start thinking. So this process, through this process, what is the learning I have got? This is how we start looking at it because Parampuji Papa's beautiful quotation, the world we live in is a school in which observation and experience offer us immense possibilities for self-improvement. Nay, the world itself is Guru or God. So multi-millionaires, corporates, they have done human service to the society. Many people have been able to get uh, take advantage of it. So many things. But if the, you ask them individually whether they got that peace, contentment, honestly, what will be their answer? But it doesn't mean it plugs your efficiency. It plugs your... Uh, no, it's not. Certainly not. 
I will tell you one more example. We have time. Uh, one doctor. I think this also we have. We have one doctor. Uh, uh, I think we have shared. But again, worth repeating it. Repeated performance only deep, gives a deep impact. I agree. One, day, one of our uh, colleagues, you know, uh, his son. Uh, he did not pass urine. He was hardly two, three years or four, two, two, three years. He was crying, crying, crying. And this orthopedic, uh, orthopedic, what is it? 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 He is a pediatric uh, doctor. So the, there was a num, num, lot of people were there, even at nine o'clock at night. So when he heard the child crying, he came out, bring him in. And uh, she then said that he has sure passed urine. Oh, then he immediately took him, put him on a bench, removed his trouser and started pressing, you know, like this. Suddenly, you know, the urine came out and the entire urine was splashed on his face, on his dress. The doctor was supremely happy. <laughs> See, the father, you know, felt highly awkward. Embarrassed. When you tell, Please when you tell what? itself that picture you know, is so... In, in Malayalam, what is that, you know? Mutra is a low. This is what is needed. This all can be changed, you know? What is important is, he has been relieved of the stress. So the... No, though he is a man, we know him, he is a man of contentment always. He doesn't mean that he is sitting alone, thinking about contentment. He is dynamic. So Active, productive. So Even the this, thing, is, this is a, uh, another an Shivan. Uh, another an Shivan. Yeah, by his is, very yeah. act, he was able to touch and kindle in so many minds, the uh, charitable mind, me to be so many, so many meticulous care and concern, organizing material, oh, so many things he has done by a single person. But he is not keeping quiet. Swamiji, I, I, I will, you know, uh, paucity of time on this episode, I will, uh, you know, pause for it. But this is a phenomenal uh, uh, topic. And I think we will have one more session on this because not one, many more, because uh, I don't think even we have touched the tip of the iceberg. You, you know, we have not had. Um, um, so I, I think we will, we will have a few more episodes on this probably. At the one, rate, one, uh, one last, one last is, word. Yes. One last yes. word. Yeah. Papa says, be active in any field. Be active in any field that opens itself to you. And do all work in a spirit of blissful service. That means contentment. Absolutely. Be active in any field that opens itself to you and to do all work. Under the banner of spirituality, under the banner of contentment, under the banner of this and that, we don't become a burden, we don't become a parasite to the society. We become dynamic, productive, but at the same time, we are content. As you Thank said, you, Dominic. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank Mario, you. Mario, 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 Mario.